So this trial was based on our hypothesis that uh, pre-complexing uh, allogeneic core blood derived NK cells with AFN13, which is an, um, an antibody construct uh, with bispecificity for CD30 on the lymphoma cells and CD16A on the NK cells would uh, uh, engage the NK cells in an immunological synapse and increase cytotoxicity of the target cell uh, via um, uh, uh, cytotoxic granules. So this was uh, this hypothesis uh, we had studied in the lab, and we saw that um, pre-activating and expanding with cytokines, um, the uh, core blood uh, NK cells led to, and then incubating them with AFN13, which is this uh, bi uh, tetravalent bispecific uh, antibody construct, led to a much, a much greater uh, uh, tumor uh, shrinkage and, and, and better results in mice bearing uh, C30 positive lymphomas compared to the same uh, pre-activated and expanded NK cells without the AFN13 or mice treated with AFN13 alone. So uh, that led to a clinical trial where um, we uh, uh, basically enrolled patients with uh, C30 positive lymphomas who had failed brentuximab vidonin. And uh, over the course of two weeks, uh, we uh, uh, pre-activated and expanded the NK cells from a core blood unit and then incubated them with AFM13. And during that time, uh, patients received lymphodepleting chemotherapy with fludarabine and cyclophosphamide. They received the, uh, the uh, AFM13 pre-complex NK cells. And uh, we saw that, um, uh, number one, the treatment was um, extremely well tolerated with no instances of cytokine release syndrome, eye cans, neurotoxicity, or GVHD. And we saw a very high level of activity with 94% uh, responses and 71% complete responses in a very heavily pretreated population uh, exposed to a median uh, three prior lines of therapy. I'm sorry, seven pre previous lines of therapy um, with uh, almost 80% of them ha having failed an autologous uh, or an allogeneic stem cell transplant. So uh, we think this is a very uh, safe and very active regimen in this popula population uh, with heavily treated uh, uh, C30 positive lymphomas.